Aquarius, there are huge karmic endings that are happening. And these are needing to happen because they are situations, people, and places that no longer serve 3D kind of thinking. And you know what I mean. And when we are refusing the calling to release these things for the greater good of all, then you continue to meet resistance. And resistance has many faces, many different faces, and they come in many different situations as well. So a spirit is calling on you to, to be authentic so that you can be in your light mind and not your ego mind. And only then is when you will know the truth of things that are happening around you. You are the objective one. And Aquarius, you're the one that likes to have balance in your life. But when you meet resistance and you're met with that fork in the road where you are needing to be in your authenticity and let everything else go, you are, you are then being called to, to know that everyone is playing their own piece of the puzzle. And it should be for everyone's highest good. There is not anyone that can create your heaven on earth and your happiness but you. You're the only one that can do that. And your detachment of the 3D world and its drama and its treachery and its lies is where that begins. So until you are able to do that, then you'll be able to have that balance and be objective about the manipulation of the 3D, which is the manipulation of those that um, are choosing not to, not to come out of their ego mind. And that should not be your problem. And it is only if you make it your problem. Misery will always find company. And which one are you? So thank you for joining us, Aquarius. This is your Ascension Energy Update for August. And we are still riding the tail ends of the Lion's Gate <clears throat> portal. And we're coming into an Aquarius, a second Aquarius full moon, but this time it's a lunar eclipse. So um, lots of blessings there, Aquarius. And um, so still in, in the energy of either uh, time to make it or break it and move forward. So, all right, Tanya's been pulling out cards <coughs> and let's see what uh, Spirit is saying through it. Okay, so the the chat for the challenge for the next you know 30 days or whenever you see this video number one out is healed out so there's mm -hmm. some healing work that needs to be done still and with the sacred pool that's just saying um you know you look into the sacred pool do you like what you see there's things being reflected back to you 
for healing. Then we have Stormfield. So there's a lot of chaos that's going to come. It's going to come your way. Um, it's going to help clear the path, though, for this healing that needs to be done. We have you deserve love, past life relationship, and love yourself first. This could be a romantic connection, but it doesn't have to be. A past life relationship, we could have those with our friends, family. Um, there's something, there's a karmic ending that needs to happen. Regardless if it, this is like a love relationship or a friend, family, work, um, whatever. And it's all centered around your, your own self-love. How much do you love yourself? Right. For those of you that's on, that are on the Twin Flame path, we have Twin Flame 41, Sacrifice. Opportunity is never wasted. Every sacrifice made pushes each twin twin towards their own to self-alignment it's not about fixing your twin but yourself everything else will fall into place true their own to self -alignment. oh no their english is kind of weird on this uh -huh. part, but that's okay <laughs> you, the period that you're in now is one of manifestation like you have everything that you need to manifest what you want mm -hmm. um you have passion and purpose. Mm -hmm. There just seems to be a little confusion over um, what to do next or how to deal with, um, I guess, the people that you're dealing with. Maybe it's between a, a twin and a high vibe soulmate. You're not exactly sure um, what decision to make. With the Hermit card, you're going to go inside and you're going to find the way, the way forward. To expansion and that's going to bring in your nine of cups wish fulfilled right there will be ceremonies and celebrations right because this is a karmic ending and it's like it almost has no choice but to end because that's the energy right just decide to be happy now live in the present moment right. you can't be worried about the past or the future you just have to worry about what's right in front of you right now. Mm-hmm. The soul lessons, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Mm-hmm. So let's see. It's past life relationship. Relationship. It's, it's about sacrifice. There's something about this, this past life situation that's just, it's been a burden with the Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. It's been a burden. There's been sacrifice. Um, you have to love yourself enough to not, not be burdened, you know, by things that have happened in the past. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a, maybe it's seen as a no-win situation with the Five of Swords. Um, it's just conflict. It's just, you know, you're in conflict with someone, no doubt. This could even be a person, a third-party person, um, that's in a karmic entanglement with you and your twin. Uh-huh. Or divine partner. Right. Yeah, it'd be different for everyone. Mm-hmm. Right. The hangman is about enlightenment, right? Yes. So, this is calling whatever situation that you're going through that is not in balance. Um, of course, remember the reflection that's happening here with the storm fields. You always got to look within yourself. Why is that something not in balance? Um, you know, and then it has to do with how you are viewing it. Um, but you have to be from an authentic point of view, not from someone else's point of view. Because if you are in coming or trying to fix something through, you know, that has to do with 
your life, um, you've got to see it from your point of view. <clears throat> In other words, letting go of everything that anyone is saying around you and um, be the you know the objective person that you are wanting to have that balance um, because if not then you'll continue to stay in the same in the same uh, perception of what's happening you know you'll continue to stay in this sacrifice mode which has nothing to do with enlightenment sacrifice is just the crap that the 3d world tries to control you through and if you can't see through that and see how others can manipulate you, then um, you'll be here. You'll continue <coughs> to be here and you'll continue to be here um, with those that are in the ego that are just doing whatever to win at all costs, right? These are the attacks that are given to those of us in the light and you're of the light. So if you're going through this chaos, you know why now? But King of Swords, so that right. that's air energy. The King of Swords is he makes unemotional decisions. He makes decisions based on the truth. Um it's time to take the emotion kind of take the emotions out of things and look at things objectively. Right. That's a repetitive. And and then move on mm -hmm. from whatever this situation Right. Or person or whatever it is this karmic right entanglement um see the truth and then move away from it that's when your manifestations can come in that's whenever you move out of this um burden sacrifice and know and see it for what it is it's an opportunity for growth it's an opportunity to shed your light and to heal and to manifest. Your, yes, and to manifest. But if you are, you know, allowing the manipulation and the words of others to, you know, to... Control your emotions, yes, basically. Yes, control you. Right, to control you, then um, you'll continue to have a hard time. And... And, but that's going to be all on you. And it will be all on you because manipulators will do that. Yeah, this is, and this is a repetitive. It so is repetitive. we message. have honor thyself. Just curious, when was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? It matters. Yes, it does. Because you are Aquarius. You are beautiful, you have a lot to offer, and you have a lot of love to offer, you know. And you're very helpful, Aquarius. But if you cannot see manipulation, then um, uh, maybe the next time around. Maybe the next time around that the Ascension Energies are coming around to help you because like the energies, yeah, next Lionsgate next year sometime because it is up to you. It's up to you if you're ready or not. So are you wanting to continue having your manifestations in your heaven on earth and control your life, your own life, and see the opportunities for what they are versus what, you know, the manipulators want you to to be because misery loves company. Remember that? That's the manipulation of them. Um, then, yeah. Right Take now, advantage of this full yes, moon, exactly. this eclipse, because that's for releasing eclipses yes. or come in to eclipse things out of our lives yes. that don't need to be there. Exactly. So take advantage of that. Right, right. And um, then self-sufficiency. The ultimate yeah. self-sufficiency is relying on God. That's it doesn't right. mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people, even though that's what we want to do a lot. Instead, it's saying, God is my source, and I'm willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. Right, right, and you have so much, you have so much support and love and care around you, but you have to be the example of that, 
You have to be the example of that. And you've got to be in your authenticity about it. Because if not, then you will continue to meet chaos and resistance. So, all right. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much. Um, please like and subscribe. And have a blessed week.